Hey everybody, good evening. Welcome back to the second installment of the guitar playthrough series of uh, some intellectual songs. Uh, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching again. Um, very happy to have you here. Uh, I did it one time before, so if you want, you can always check back to the previous video. Um, you can comment live, because we're live right now. But you can also watch this when it's online later, and you can comment then as well, of course. Um, we're going to do uh, a playthrough of our version of Truth Hits Everybody, a song originally by The Police. Um, if you have requests for other songs, just comment them uh, as well, and uh, we'll you know put them in the list, and maybe we can do them next time or something like that. Um, yeah, I said I'm going to play our version um the way we recorded it there were many parts i'm only going to do the uh the 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 live version that i play when we play the song live because we've been doing that for the last couple of weeks so uh that's the version i will play for you um before you start joining in make sure to tune your guitar to standard e flat tuning so if you're in standard e tuning make sure to tune down every string one step otherwise uh, it will not make sense to play along um for the techies again i'm using my standard sg gibson guitar uh with the push pull but making this pick up a single coil not a humbucker so it sounds a bit more uh i don't know trebly or uh, thinner but also fuller uh, it's hard to describe a bit more more telecaster i guess um on the recorded version and live i use some some chorus and some delay as well but for now i'm i'm not using any effects uh no effects whatsoever uh just some distortion and some gain of course uh to make it sound like a guitar um no theory i don't know anything about that so I won't bother you with it if you don't bother me with it. Um, contrary to last time, I'm going to do this song from front to back instead of from easier to harder parts because uh, I think the different the, the individual parts aren't that you know more difficult than other parts. So we can just play from front to back. Uh, if again, if you have questions or, or comments, uh, post them, and uh, you know uh, I can comment right now. I can comment later. Who, uh, we can have a chat. Um, let's just start with uh, with the first part, with the intro, which happens to be uh, the chorus as well. So that makes it really convenient. I'll just I'll first play it, uh, and then we'll you you know you can uh, we can play. It. I, I'll play it for you. That's what I wanted to say. Here we go. All right, that's the whole intro, which is the chorus as well. And it starts uh, on this chord. It's an A power chord uh, or A bar chord, if you like, on the fourth position. So on the D string, which is tuned down half a step, I'm, but I'm going to call it a D string. It's the fourth position on, on the A string. It's the fourth position on the uh, D string. It's the sixth position on the G string it's the sixth position as well and the B and the E string I'm just going to keep them open so I'm not going to uh, you know push them down but you can hear them ring and that's the chord that you get that's the first chord I'm playing the second chord is uh, the, the, the E bar chord on the fifth position so on the E string it's the fifth position on the uh, a string is the seventh position on the D string is the seventh position on the G string it's the sixth position and again the bottom two strings I leave open so that's this chord and then the third chord uh, is uh, uh, this one and it's uh, seventh position on the A string ninth position on the D string ninth position on the uh, G string as well and again the bottom two open so then you get this progression Uh, for the second round, I it starts with the same chord, and the second chord sounds the same as in the first round, but it's in a different position. It's it's an open chord, and I only you uh, push down the, the middle two strings, um, 
making a sound like this. So uh, the A string is open, the uh, D string is on the second position, the G string is on the second position, and the B string and the E string, again, are open. So, um, the third chord is a standard E chord, um, going like this. Um, yeah, which is zero on the E string, uh, second position on the B string, second position on the D string, and first position on the G string, and the other uh, strings open again. Then you get this. So the second round is... Which makes the whole round... Yes, and the final chord is a bit strange because uh, it's one step up from the chord that it starts on. It's uh, it's this chord, it's, it's the D chord, but it doesn't matter for now. Um, it's the fifth position on the D string, seventh position on the uh, D string, seventh position on the G string, and fifth position on the B string and E string as well. So it sounds like this. And you just let that ring this. So... That's how the intro ends. Um, quite simple, just chord playing, and they're not too complicated. Uh, then the first verse starts, uh, and it sounds like this. I'm going to play it for you. <laughs> This starts on the same chord, so again, the fourth position on the A string and the seventh position, uh, sixth position on the D string and the G string, but you palm mute it, so it's... And the two chords after that, they're a bit more complicated. Um, and it, 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 I use two fingers to push down three strings, so that's a technique which might require a bit more, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, skills but um, I use this finger to push down the uh, the D and the G string on fourth position and I use my pinky finger to push down uh, the B string in uh, fourth position making it sound like this if you do it correctly that's right and then you pull off to and you create that chord again which was the second chord of the uh, intro uh, and I just use this finger to pull push down the B, the uh, uh, G, the D string, and the G string, um, and it sounds like this. So in uh, in the round, it sounds like that. Pull off is a bit hard. So, but you, you know, you can repeat a couple times and it, it'll get easier. Then after uh, four times of that, you get uh, the first uh, pre-chorus and it sounds uh, like this on the record. <laughs> And it's actually the last two chords of the, the the verse that we just played. So if you come from this, so it, the first chord is the, the the one you use one finger to push down the, the second position on the D string and the second position on the G string, and the second chord. Uh, you use this finger to push down the fourth position on the D string and the fourth position on the G string, and you use the pinky finger to push down the fourth position on the B string. Make it sound like that, and uh, the round sounds like. And that's the whole first pre chorus. The second pre chorus uh, goes like this. Um, it's a bit simpler. It's just the standard E chord, uh, but again, you know, everything is tuned one step down. So officially it's a D sharp chord, but yeah, I'm not going to bother you with that. Um, uh, so yeah, it starts. 
And what you do is you, you just play the, the E chord and you move it up two positions. And you do that four times. And at the end of the fourth time, I add my pinky finger to push down the fourth position on the G string. Which gives a little rise to the chorus that's coming right after, which is, uh, I'll play it, but it's the same as the intro, so check it out. So yeah, you come from... There's that weird uh, chord again on the fifth position of the A string. Um, the intro ends with that, but the chorus also ends with that. So the chorus and the intro are really, really similar. Uh, so yeah, that was the, 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 the second uh, chorus. Actually, the, the second verse, the second pre-chorus, uh, they are all the same in the second uh, chorus as well. So I'll, uh, I'll not dive into that. Uh, but the end of the second chorus uh, is a bit more interesting and I'll, I'll uh, play it from there to let you listen to it. And again, the chorus ends with that weird chord or it's, you know, it sounds a bit weird because it's not, I, I don't know, it's, it just sounds, it doesn't, it sounds weird. I don't know the theory behind it, but um yeah that's that's what you play after the chorus it, it's it's the d chord or the d note and you move it up um you you it's the fifth position on the d string it's seventh position on the no wrong fifth position on the a string seventh position on the d and the g string and again the bottom two strings you leave ringing open so uh And then you move it up two positions, but you keep the same, the same grip, the same position, but you move it up two frets. And what I do to, again, let it rise to the next part is I add my pinky finger to the 10th position, or from the, and I add the ninth position on the B string and I make it go to the 10th position to get that little rise, so. That's that chord, it's a bit weird, but uh, it, it makes you uh, transfer to the, nice, the next song really nicely. And the next chord, it's, it's this one. And that's the second part of the bridge. I'll play it for you again. There we go. All right, until there. Um, so you, this, this the part before it. And this chord is a bit weird. Um, it's, you don't touch the, the E string. It's the fourth position, fourth position on the A string, it's fourth position on the D string. It's second position on the G string. And again, the bottom two are open. For most of the song, they're open, so you can't go wrong with that. Um, so, and then the second chord is, it's a standard D chord, um, which you learn at your first guitar lesson, I think. I don't know. I'm not sure even if I did, but uh, um, this one, and then the third chord is uh, the, the, the E chord again. And this is what you play then. And you, the, the, the hop, the, 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 the thing you do in the last chord is it's the E chord. And you raise the, these two, so the, the fingers on the A and the D string. 
And then you get this. And the second round, second time around, it's a bit different because you, again, you start with this chord and you go to the D, but then you don't change to the E chord, but you go, you stay on the D chord, but I use a different position for the second time. Again, it's that chord, the weird chord that's been coming back all the time, but it's a nice way to end that, that part. So you start with... Uh, uh, so the whole part of that part of the bridge is... And then a new part starts. There's a lot of uh, different parts in a song, even though they don't, you know, at first hearing, I didn't even notice that they were different. They just sounded really like they were, uh, you know, neatly connected together or more or less similar, but they, you, there's different ways of playing them. So they are different. Uh, let me uh, go to the next part, which is maybe the, the, closest this song ever comes to a guitar solo, but there's a little riff going on there. All right, uh, until that point. Um, if, again, if you have comments or questions, don't be shy and uh, say something, say hi, uh, or ask me something if, you, if, if I'm not being clear or uh, if you have additional suggestions or whatever. Um, that part, it starts with the first chord that the whole song starts with. It's the, the fourth position on the A string, the seventh position on the D and the G string, and the bottom two strings are open again. So that's how it starts. And then you get a little uh, pull off hammer on uh, thing riff. And that's, it's a bit tricky because uh, um, you start, I start with second finger on the fifth position of the second string. And I pull it off to the fourth position, slide, slide down to the second position, hammer on to the fourth position again, pull off to let the string uh, uh, sound without on a zero position. And then um, hammer on on the fourth position of the D string. So uh, it sounds like this. And that is what you hear. The second time it's a bit different it's it's simpler it's so you start with the second finger on the fifth position on the b string and you pull it off to the fourth position you slide it down to the second position you put uh, you hammer on to the fourth position and you pull off to the zero position Yeah, so you <laughs> you start thinking about the stuff you play. It doesn't make it clearer always. Um, so you yeah you start on the fifth position. You pull off to the fourth. You slide it to the second, and you pull it off to the zero position. So the whole round is. time so that's the whole part of that that part of the bridge uh, then the next part again again it's still a bridge but a different part goes like this actually it's not a different part it, it, again it's the it's the first pre-chorus so it starts on this position and then you get the next part which 
which sounds like this, but it, it's, it's the same as before any of the other choruses. So that's with this, the, the open E chord. And I add the pinky finger on the fourth position of the G string. And then you get the chorus again, sounding like this. So the ending of the song, um, it's really simple. Uh, it again, it ends on this the the, the weird chord, uh, which is this one, fifth position on the A, uh, seventh position on the G, uh, the the D and the G string and the B and the E string open. Um, no, I'm not saying that correctly. They're not open. It's a bar chord, so it's a bar chord on fifth position, and you uh, put down the uh, D string and the G string on seventh position. So it sounds like this. And then uh, I think I'm just palm muting it or, or just strumming it. And then you go down one position to the, 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 the chord that the whole song started with, and that's the final chord. So it sounds, on the record, it sounds like this. <laughs> That's the final chord. So um, yeah, I think that's the whole the whole song. It's a bit less complicated than uh, the previous song I did, the, the Invisible Hand, our own song. Um, but again, if you have any questions or comments, now is the time to uh, to, to to comment, and maybe I can give a, a, a direct reply. If not, I'll try to do it uh, after we put this video online, and you can watch it back. Um, if you have other songs you would love to hear me talk about or play, uh, uh, you know, explain how they how they go, uh, let me know. Post it in the in the comments, and we can do this again. Um, and of course, as always, the usual. Uh, I'm not sure if you're watching this on Facebook, like our page. If you're watching this on YouTube, we'll post it there as well. Follow us there, um, like it, whatever you know, whatever works. And uh, let's let's stay in touch. Let's see each other at the next uh, playthrough. Uh, thanks for having me and uh, hope to see you next time. Cheers.